Malaysia's Muhyiddin Yassin stepped down as Prime Minister on Monday after months of political turmoil resulted in the loss of his majority. And his resignation is likely to open another chapter of instability in the absence of any obvious successor. I hope the new government can be formed as soon as possible so that the administration of this nation is not disrupted and can run as usual. The next two months are very important because we hope to achieve herd immunity in October. Magiddin's resignation ends a tumultuous 17 months in office, the shortest stint of a Malaysian leader, but will also likely hamper efforts to reboot an economy stricken by the global health crisis and curb a resurgence of infections. Since he took office with a slim majority in March 2020, he has been beset by coalition infighting, saying the recent crisis was brought on by his refusal of demands such as dropping graft charges against some individuals. The Southeast Asian nation's king appointed Mayiddin as the caretaker prime minister until a new premier can be found, but did not give a timeline. King al-Sultan Abdullah ruled out elections because of the health crisis and said he would invoke his constitutional power to appoint a prime minister he believes is likely to command a majority. It was not immediately clear who could form the next government as no lawmaker has a clear majority in parliament.